We have a good panel. Shahid Siddiqui, chief editor, Nayi Dunya, Rashid Kidwai of the Telegraph follows the Congress party very closely, sometimes too closely. The Congress doesn't like it. Arti Jairat uh, is with us tonight, senior journalist. Um, Suni Lalag. So we have a bit of coming together of our election panel once again. So I'm very happy at that. <laughs> very <laughs> happy people, to see people, sorry for sorry for this is a little, you know, in, uh, people are happy to see each other. Aji, Dr. Ajay Alok of the JDU's, Pinky Anand of the BJP, national spokesperson uh, of the BJP. And uh, on the news hour tonight, I'd like to put the first question to Ami Agnik of the Congress Party. Now, Ms. Ami Agnik, don't take it otherwise. In the academic world, there is a use of a word emeritus, you know, which means some kind of a post-retirement status. So you have professor emeritus. Right. But, but for Rahul, what is he? Is he leader emeritus? And is, you know, with an honorary kind of position which gives a, you know, you get respect, but you're not really doing anything. You know, so a retired professor becomes professor emeritus. Thank God there is nothing so far nowadays as editor emeritus or journalist emeritus. Otherwise, many people would have taken that position. I'm just mean this on a lighter note. But some people are beginning to say that Rahul Gandhi at the ripe old age of 44 has become the leader emeritus of the Congress party. Why is he doing this? Why is he ducking, dodging and avoiding everything? Every bit of responsibility. Arnav, yes, ma'am. First of all, you are bringing this lingo of emeritus, you know, to uh, uh, our country. It's very good that you are bringing academic. No, no, it's here. a well-known lingo. Uh, in, in the uh, male, in, in the male version, it's emeritus, on the, on this, and emerita is the female no, no, equivalent. It's a good enlightenment. It's a good enlightenment on this lingo. We need it here a lot in the academic world in India. Uh, that's uh, on the lighter side. Uh, Rahul Gandhi ji has decided, maybe he just took the, uh, uh, wants to just uh, work for the organization because of the result we had in what the organization? elections. And if he chooses, he wants to be for the organization, be there as a strength for the organization, build it up and just come back. What is wrong in that? No, you are Why now, he not no, you didn't answer, no, no, I'll tell you one thing. If you look at, you know, this word emeritus, the, in some cases, it is conferred automatically on people who get a certain rank. In other cases, it marks when you have distinguished service. So at the end of your distinguished service, you are called Professor Emeritus. So you get some kind of a rank. So I didn't mean yes, it disparagingly. I, I, I know that. I know I'm that. only saying, and I'm I only saying. All your viewers also know the distinction. No, I don't know. But a political leader who says, I will not marshal my party men on the floor of the Lok Sabha. A leader of the Lok Sabha who says, I will not devise strategy. A leader of the Lok Sabha who says, I will not engage with the government. Then I just want to know, is Rahul Gandhi cut out for that job at all? Let's open up the debate with Pinky Anand of the BJP. Then we are opening this up. If you're not, if you're ducking responsibility, we need to know now when you will take the responsibility or whether taking responsibility there is, is no seasonal question of exercise. There is ducking responsibility. We, the party has chosen, if you kindly party. see the senior leader of the party Why, blame the look party. at the experience he has and it is a party who decides who would like to be appointed as the leader of the opposition Ajay, and you may not just come to conclusions Pinky and Anand. come to all kinds of surmises that the person the Mr. Pers Rahul Gandhi is uh, ducking this uh, Pinky or Anand. whatever you are bringing I think the perception the that everybody is having which is rather clear on the surface is that Mr. Rahul Gandhi doesn't seem to have the wherewithal to face any situation First, it was a question of naming him as the, uh, the potential Prime Minister, then he became the category of former future Prime Minister, never coming into that position because he was too afraid to face anybody. I think the game is kind of over. So really speaking, it's, it's quite evident to the people at large. What do you mean game is over? Person who is not willing what do you mean game is over? Well, for the time. The game, the game is over to the extent that they were only playing a game. These elections had been given up as lost by the Congress. They don't want to come into the forefront. Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi do not wish to take up any responsibility. So thrust it on somebody else and try and rule from behind. That is the power only without thing. responsibility the game being over as far power as without else, responsibility. Yes, yes absolutely. Is power without responsibility, the privilege without else. accountability, position without without contribution. You see, it's a very interesting, you see, fact is, he didn't take up a ministerial position. Prime Minister kept asking him, take a position, take a, he didn't take a ministerial position. 
He did not even agree to be projected as the prime ministerial candidate. He failed in the party campaign in the Lok Sabha. He failed as party vice president. He failed at leading your party in the December assembly elections. And, you know, there is now dissent within your party. The best thing, Arti Jairat and Shahid Siddiqui, let me get you in the best thing. Shahid Siddiqui and Arti Jairat in that order for the Congress party would be to see Rahul Gandhi say, I will take responsibility. I'm going to change my game, as you call it, and become leader of the opposition, LOP. Shahid Siddiqui. Arnab, uh, Arnab, uh, first of all, I'll say in the long run, we, 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 let, 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 let me come in. Uh, in the long run, we need a very strong opposition in the interest of Indian democracy. And that opposition has to be provided by some party. I hope, I wish it is the Congress party which does that. But that is not possible with the backside, backseat driving which Congress has been doing for so long. And it will not work anymore. It has not worked. It will not work anymore. I have all my uh, respect for the Gandhi family because unfortunately only Gandhi family can keep Congress united otherwise it, it cannot function. It is, it is their, it is their uh, actually at, at least heel. But, but Rahul Gandhi, he should realize that he, he has to lead from the front or he has to say, he hang up his shoes and say, look, I'm... Yeah, I that's the point. Be. It's not possible for me. In the interest of the party of his father, of his grandmother, of, of his great-grandfather, he should stand you up mean and quit say, politics. look, let some leader be there. You mean he should let, quit look, politics? A Sachin, let, let a Sachin be there. Let there be a young person. Why do you bring in a person who cannot lead? I have respect for Kharge, but Kharge cannot lead the party. He cannot inspire the party. He cannot fight the leader like Modi in the Lok Sabha, what are you doing with this party? Please don't destroy this 125 year old party. Why are you doing this, Ami Yagnik? And one second, one second. One second. You talk of the long run. No, you talk of the long run. I find that very interesting. What is long run? It depends on what you talk about in the, in the long term. Well, in the long term, one second depends on what you're talking as the long term. In the long term, all of us are dead. Which long term? Arti Cherath, which long term? 20 years long from now? In the, in the, in and what happens to the Congress for party in the interim, Arti Jairat? For five years, in a year or two, it no, has no, to be no, a strong opposition. No, no, absolutely. And, and you know, Arnav, the this has been the hallmark of the Sonia Rahul style of leadership. Power without responsibility. Somehow they managed to pull it off in UPA 1. But as we saw in UPA 2, this whole thing came unstuck. And that is why the Congress has been reduced to the pathetic position that it is in today. And now, again, instead of stepping up and leading from the front, they're again stepping back and they're putting an elderly gentleman who has no political exactly. base, no leadership uh, you know, style at all. They're putting yeah. him in front to try and lead the party. I mean, if they had to choose, if, if the Gandhis didn't want to take responsibility, at least they could have put up somebody younger. But I guess the problem is they don't want anybody to, you know, sort of shine in comparison to Rahul. But, you know, enough yes, is enough, Rahul. Rahul. I, uh, sorry, Rahul, I'm calling you enough is enough, Arnab. At, at Thank you. Point, <laughs> Thank Rahul you. Gandhi Arnab. has to take a decision. <laughs> I guess, you know. At some point, Rahul has to take a decision. Does he want to stay in politics or does he want to go home? No, I think... It, can, it cannot go on like this. You see, if you and take a look at what Sonia Gandhi... We don't want to attack Rahul. We want to stand up with Rahul now. Right. But he should stand up for himself. Ra look, Sonia Gandhi, right from the beginning, never wanted someone who has any base whatsoever, whether it's Manmohan Singh or anyone else. Right now, the better persons, I think, from the Congress point of view, were people like Kamal Nath and Sachin Pilot and all these guys who are capable, Jyotir Aditya Sindhi yeah, exactly. are to be able to lead. Hey, we want to but know what she's put again Kharge so that another guy who's totally dependent on Sonia Gandhi for everything, he comes out and says, I will do whatever she says. What does this again, like? today, if you saw what Kharge said, I will do whatever Sonia Gandhi says. So to have a slave constantly lead the party at a time when you need a leader, it could have been Rahul Gandhi if you've decided against Rahul Gandhi, put someone else who's capable. And there are so many, a few capable people still left in Congress, like Kamal Nath, Jyotir Aditya and all. Why not them? Arnab, what are you doing to them? You're just sidelining everybody. And what, and can, what are these it. kind of comments after the loss in Amethi? You, you, you no, say no, in Amethi, I'll fight for the people. We'll take the role of the people of the people. Where the people have not heard the people, then we'll put the fire on the fire. I mean, what can you know? You keep making these immature comments. I want to know whether you can actually do anything on the ground. 
what what we we want to see ajay alok you tell me what do we want one last this thing is, i want to say this is a this it's great ways good to be leading a party when you've hit rock bottom because the only way is up so rahul gandhi would have been the best time to actually come on and say i want to lead you want you see the, you know you're you missing you all opportunities you understand ami ami agnik the greatest opportunity that rahul gandhi could have had right the, it's a great opportunity but he's left every opportunity no 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 what no what but but pinky anand think of it very objectively if 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 the man wants to prove himself then ajay alok leader of opposition he can marshal all his remaining party men on the floor of parliament he can devise a strategy with them he can build bridges with leaders like the from the jdu right he can make extempore speeches to take on narendra modi he can question the next time narendra modi or the leader of the government stands up ajay alok then rahul gandhi can on an extempore basis question narendra modi point by point by point he can display his oratory straight on so the people of this country know what rahul gandhi is capable of ajay alok it's a delightful opportunity for a leader to say that forget my fact that i have I... not had a great parliamentary record forget the fact that i have not been present very often forget the fact that i have not asked too many questions forget the fact that 76% is the average nationally and i have attended only 37% forget the fact that an average mp may ask 300 questions and i may not have asked a single question or the fact that i may have in my entire parliamentary participatory career taken part in only two debates forget all that here i come now what is the point of saying aag laga denge kind of comments outside when you people want to see you prove your skills ajay alok don't you think it would have been a delightful opportunity for any leader to prove his ability which rahul gandhi is giving anam yes anam the basic point is a reluctant prince can never become a good king and can never inspire the army so he was we have been seeing rahul gandhi has always been an like a reluctant prince today when the time was to take the bull by its horn he decided to be in the backyard and this he has been doing since 2010 and this is the best time i think he decided for himself that it's best time to detoxify because they have been taking the poison of the power for the last 10 years what he has mentioned earlier ki maa ne kaha tha ki satta zeher ke saman hoti hai so i guess he chose to detoxify himself rather than taking the bull by its horn and this shows his reluctance and this is something good for the bjp not for the congress of course because this has set the morale and this has set the i guess this is my point of view Absolute. i mean this has set the morale of the congressmen no, no, more weaker the, and secondly and secondly they don't want to project anyone from the hindi heartland they don't the, want to project any leadership because that might pose a challenge in the later future so from bjp's point of view this is perfect from mr modi's point of view because when competition is committing suicide get out of the way and congress is committing suicide bjp exactly. just has to stand back and watch the entire party disintegrate now with these kind of no, decisions just, no i want they to they are on a suicidal just, path no i want I, I i i i want I'm to not. know from ami agnik i have three questions to ami agnik ma'am please listen to me three questions simple my first question is is malikarjun kharge the best speaker in the congress party speaker i mean not a person who sits on the speaker's chair because you can't sit there but is he the best orator in the congress party are now if you have seen the track record of mr mallikarjun he has been uh, having a record of winning nine times consecutively in the legislative assembly in karnataka no no one second kamal nath won nine times in the parliamentary election very senior member kamal nath won nine times in the parliamentary election member of the party jyotiraditya has never lost why don't kamal you put up a young leader times. how many we times has jyotiraditya in india won no you know arna arna look you what no no one second if the party has decided on mallikarjun ji what is the problem you know he has all the dynamic you will understand all the dynamics of administration and legislative you said sonia gandhi is decided to stop using the word party opposition leader no, why you are in one of the uh, assembly why leaders why are you not promoting a younger leadership yeah, why? you have today why? a cabinet why where the average lead, where the average age is about 59 Why are you putting somebody who's in his 70s why? as your main face in Lok Sabha? No, why are you doing it? We really want to know. Unless you want a Manmohan Singh Mark II, absolutely. No, no, you want a Manmohan Singh Mark II. Who is subservient? That's all. 
What do you want? Arnav, it is basically when you go with a puppet on a string. What is Arnav? You want a puppet. Arnav. Kind of Correct. <laughs> you want a puppet on a string who will sign whatever file that Arnav, Tenjan puts in. Arnav, you know how bad this looks. Arke has all the experience. You want a puppet. He has the uh, know how. Shahid Siddiqui says you want a puppet. He, uh, in action when he has been having such a great track record. Why do you ask such questions? That why <laughs> not Kamal Nath and what why is, not another what leader? Have the, the party has shown him Mr. Karge. Let no, him be the leader of the opposition. Younger? And when why do you talk about the only oratory generation? You need to also over. the experience. You need also the understanding of the in every party the younger generation. Is taking over. Why is the Congress stuck in a time warp? Why is the Congress st stuck with its older generation, the Gen X? Well, Instead right now, tonight, Arti Jaira, this debate is warming up. Arnav, I'm... No, 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 no. Malikarjun Kharge, Malikarjun Kharge is the Gen Next leader, leader of the Congress party. The senior leaders. There are questions and questions. Why are not let the party decide? And when the party has decided, why not wait and see? You why see? you want to ask questions? If there is a younger you person, you would have come with all the answers. Stop using the word party. No, no, counters, counters. I'm going to allow counters coming in. Okay, first counter, Shahid Siddiqui. Shahid Siddiqui, quickly. And then we'll take more after the break. Tonight, we'll ask the Congress yes. those questions. Uh, yes. Ar Arnab, 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 today, today I had decided that I will not attack the family. I will not talk about what is wrong with Rahul Gandhi. But unfortunately, we are forced to do it. And I have to say that they, they, they should have some, some feeling for the common congressman who stands up for the party, who is committed to the party, and they choose this man who has no credibility in, in, in Karnataka itself. He cannot inspire. So what are you trying to do? You just want to have a puppet after a puppet after a puppet. That means you have tried, you have decided that you don't want a future for the Congress party. You only want the future for your Shahzada and this Shahzada, and I will call him Shahzada because he, he behaves like a Shahzada. He doesn't behave like the leader of a democratic party, a democratic leader of such a huge country. He should stand up and say, look, I take the responsibility and I will fight on. Rashid Kidwai. Rashid Kidwai. Rashid Kidwai. How expensive is this decision going to be for the Congress party of appointing Malik Arjun Kharge or Rahul Gandhi for avoiding responsibility once again? Anna, personally, I feel that Rahul should have taken this uh, opportunity and should have become leader of opposition. But I understand why uh, a decision has been taken in Kharge's favour. You see this, uh, un under Article 5 of Congress Party in Parliament Constitution, Sonia Gandhi was empowered. If she had, if she had appointed her son, there would have been a criticism. No, Ideally, no, no. What she should have done was no, she no, have organized... No, 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 let, no, me explain. no, no. let me explain. She I should have know. organized elections no, no, of 44, 44 no, no, members, I, I 44 don't, members I don't. body. There could have been... Easy. There is no status. Let me complete. Arnab, let me exp explain. Second thing, who are the other pa other parties in opposition as of now? It's Mamta Energy and it's Jai Lalita and of course Biju, uh, Biju Janta Dal. All three have, you know, profound kind of antipathy towards Nehru Gandhi family. So, you know, if there is a member of Nehru Gandhi family uh, uh, playing that role in opposition in parliament, there would have been a lot of, you know, functional problem. Third thing is that <laughs> so what are you saying? For any Arnab political party, there are two roles. One is in Arnab one is in parliament. Choice. One is outside parliament. There are so no, many no, people, no, for instance, no, no, left Rashid leaders who have not been member of parliament. Is the best so, choice. I agree with you. You don't want to have Rahul Gandhi. This is the, is the, the, the best choice. choice. I think there should have been election. I think there should have been CPP. CPP should have CPP should have chosen a leader. If you had nominated a person like Kamal Nath or Jyotir Aditya, let me tell you, the party would have been far better off than having yes. this kind of a situation. You so, are really... But yes, Congress but I'm saying ideally there should have been elections. Suicide. No, did the... Did suits, I'm, I'm very happy Actually, because I'm a Modi fan. Like I'm very no, happy. No, no, one, one, one minute. One, and, and, and Mr. Kidwai, great regard for you. Yeah. Tremendous respect for you. You are far senior to me as a journalist. But Mr. Kidwai, did Sonia Gandhi go around asking congressmen, may I have your permission please to appoint my son as the vice president of the party? No. Did Sonia Gandhi go around asking congressmen, may I take your permission to appoint him the campaign chief? Did she take the permission of every person in the Congress party? You blame the Congress party. And by the way, just visualize this debate. I'm coming back. Visualize this debate where the one person chosen and handpicked to take on Narendra Modi in the Lok Sabha for the next five years is an innocuous gentleman called Manikarjun Kharke.
I can only imagine how inspired but those But Rahul would have been easy meat. Well, with that, then, then, then say so. The, so what is Rahul Gandhi going to do for the next five years? Go on a discovery of India? We're going to come back to this debate <laughs> on the other side. You see? Yeah. So, 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 Ami Agnek, I'd like to go back to you. And, you know, I don't want to take it otherwise. But common logic is that at a time when there is so much uncertainty about Rahul Gandhi's abilities and his future, or even there is uncertainty on whether the Congress will get the LOP position in the Lok Sabha, appointing Rahul Gandhi would have been a great proof of intent. Intent, that we, we intend to get serious. And it is wrong to say Rahul Gandhi keeps going abroad. Tell me, will Rahul Gandhi spend, let's say, 30 days away from the year, 365 days, let's say one month foreign holiday, will he spend 335 days in India working for the party? Will he give that kind of dedication or does he want to have the, you know, the position without that kind of daily responsibility? Because a politician needs to work constantly be available all the time and we saw that after the election campaign finished then Rahul Gandhi did not even attend Manmohan Singh's reception you see. You see there is a strong perception problem around your Congress Vice President Ms. Yagnik. I don't know if you realize how serious the problem is. Arnav, yes. Rahul ji has been there with all of us from the time he was appointed vice president, from the time he took over the campaign, he's been everywhere in every part of the country. He has been with all the workers and you have seen what he has done at the rallies, how he has what? come what with all kinds done? of input the in the party what and how the whole election has been uh, headed by him, no, no, how no, the no, no. whole team has been built up. Of course, the this debacle has come, protective. but that does not mean that you have to continuously say that Rahul Gandhi did this. It was totally the fault of all the team workers that we could not get what was, why the, you've chosen what was on the ground level, what was going wrong. So, second that question is, is, is Kharge like Manmohan Singh? Rahul ji did meet Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. Do you find something common between Kharge and Manmohan Singh? And so you do not, you you do see, not have do, to bring no, that is it, is it because, point is, is right it because, now. No, Politicians have to be here all the no, no, clock round, but we do not have the see, time and date about all the politicians. No, the second and so you only pick on Rahul ji all the time and bring it to the form. He has decided to build up the party, to come back, to come and put in put put a lot you of see, power within the see, party is, and so he's going to organize no, no, that. So, all right. so you need not say that he has got so a that means, opportunity. So that means that Kharge and all have no role to play since Rahul Gandhi is busy building the party to help with the 44 MPs in parliament. They don't have a leader. They don't have any role to play. Let them go and have a holiday and let uh, Rahul Gandhi build the party outside. What? He's a member of parliament. Counter question He's comes from Arti Cherat. He's Arti, an MP. Arti, why, why, and why, when will you no, pick I, up I your young... Arti Cherat, Arti Cherat. I, I want to ask, Ami Yajnik, tell me, in between elections, isn't parliament the main forum where you show your leadership skills? I mean, shall we forget about parliament and say it doesn't really matter? Everything is only during elections and at elections and for elections? I mean, come on, parliament is your main forum. That's your temple of democracy, as Nehru called it. And, uh, you know, so how can you just ignore parliament and say, let it go to hell? It doesn't matter. Well, also counter Madam, question I, coming from Pinky Anand. Pinky Anand. I agree with you that you. parliament is the uh, temple Pinky of the or, 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 or I'm asking you, know, one second. One second. What, 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 what about making Jyotiraditya Sindhya the leader of the opposition? You see, I'll tell you the qualities of Jyotiraditya Sindhya. One minute, just a minute. He's about the same age, maybe one or two years older. He's about 44, 45 years old. One, he's a three or four time MP, I don't know. He's been elected. He's yeah. one of the few leaders who has got elected from Madhya Pradesh again. Okay, the thing that goes against him is that he too is a dynast. He's done quite a lot of work. He represents a younger brigade. I'm not pitching. I'm simply saying that today, if you would have put Jyotiraditya India, then one question at least will, would not have been asked. Both in Hindi and English. No, no, and he speaks well in Hindi and English. He could have taken on Narendra Modi, I think debate that would have been more fiery. Even the BJP would say debate with Jyotiraditya India on one side and Narendra Modi on the other would have been a more interesting and debate. And experience then Kamal Nath is as experienced or somebody, more than Kharge. Okay, or, or, or somebody one, 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 or get Kamal Nath. No, no, one sec. The question is, is there some, one sec, please, I'll just remember one thing. Is there some insecurity that if we let somebody in as LOP, yes. maybe the person will prove himself so much that people may tomorrow start saying, 
why don't you have this person as your prime ministerial candidate for the election of 2019? Is there some tension on that front? I am just throwing this up. I am just throwing this up. Because otherwise, Manmohan Singh part 2 or mark 2 in Malikarjun Karge is becoming difficult to understand. Pinky Anand wanted to make a point to you. Ami Agnik, you have no answer. Pinky Anand. I just wanted to ask Ami Agnik one question. Is it not a fact that in a parliamentary democracy, the opposition has a very major role to play and anybody would have jumped at this enviable position but for the Gandhi family which chooses to remain in the backdrop, hoping to lead from the back rather than to face the entire situation right on the top and in the front? Pinky, you are right that uh, the position is enviable and uh, it should be it should have been uh, taken up by any, any anyone from the party but the party has chosen the senior leader and i think the senior leader has a lot of experience he's going to bring a lot of his track record you have seen and oh, he's going to oh. bring his definitely uh, wisdom on the legislation and everything i'm sure well. that the entire but, uh, people of well, this country just jumping to conclusion that one could have been better than that the other Rahul is not going to solve better, the, uh, the uh, problem this the is will the issue and the which the party has taken up and it has decided to go ahead with Mr. Karge. Well, what I a weak defense, Avi Agnik. What a weak defense to say. You know, at the end of it, Big. since I'm a Modi fan, I really hope that you all continue doing what you all are doing because this is the best thing you can do for Mr. Narendra Modi is to continue on the path that you all have chosen. So I am totally now never going to criticize you all again. Well done. Please continue. So from 44, you all can come down to zero in the next 2019. Because I'm sure Mr. Narendra Modi is going to come with even a bigger majority. Everyone over here has tried to say it's something which is wrong. You've defended it. And I, uh, you know, I applaud the, the, your defense of something which is so indefensible. But, Congress uh, doesn't you know, defend. well done. Yeah, one second. Shai Siddiqui. Arnab, yes. Uh, Arnab, they, this no. family is now behaving like the last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Zafar, Bilkul. who was a reluctant king who was a reluctant leader, yeah. who had the opportunity to lead the revolution in 1857, but he was so reluctant that he led to disaster and to the and that finished the Mughal empire and exactly what they are doing. And because uh, Bahadur Shah was just ruling the Lal Kila, but there was uh, conspiracies of the princes, no, of, the, of the Darbaris to, to control the Lal Kila. So it's here also, the whole effort is to still control the party which is going to be finished and not allow anybody to emerge and only allow psycho can, friends. Can, and, can, and, and, can, and can Rahul Gandhi... That has been the tragedy no, no, of Congress. I, I'm they not, not, no, no, watch it. No, what, they you don't, don't tolerate talent, talent, which becomes a challenge this, to Rahul this, Gandhi. This feudal, feudal attitude has to change. But I'm asking, can Rahul Gandhi take on Narendra Modi in a one-to-one -one debate in parliament? You see, politics has to be... Ami Agnik understand politics in any pro any profession today, any profession, you rise to the top on the basis of one raw element, raw, R-A-W, and that raw quality has to be your ability. So eventually you can protect as much as you can, but some point of time you will be exposed. An election sometimes is one of those opportunities. In parliament, my question is this. Is this actually about protecting, creating circles and circles and circles and circles and circles around Rahul Gandhi and pointing an accusing finger at anybody who says, why are you building so many circles? We want to know, does Rahul Gandhi have the ability to take on Narendra Modi in a one-to-one -one debate in parliament? Can he challenge Narendra Modi or any other leader from the BJP on points of policy, on points of legislation, right, on, on, on points of you know, constitution amendments, on, on, on points of historical precedent, on issues concerning legislation and law uh, and no. right and wrong, because, because that is the point, you see, I let, that is the point, Ajay Alok will just come in. Isn't that the key issue? Power is not a uh, matter no. of right, it has to be earned. Ajay Alok, Ajay Alok before I come to Ami Agni, because he hasn't come in much. Yeah. Anav, I, I just have to one point to make. There is an old saying in the country that Congress doesn't require enemy. Congress is the enemy of themselves only. Now by doing this, they have simply led it to the fact that next five years, this is going to be our role in the parliament. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is not going to come with service Mr. Modi. He is rather going to try and build the organization and the party, the defense being thrown at. 
So let's take it like that. I mean, this has been their position. And secondly, they will never project any other leader other than from the Gandhi family, even Mr. Sindhya or anything. And this has led to desertion in the past. The people like Sharad Pawar, Mamta Banerjee, they all had the leadership ability which they have proven in times. And they have left Congress only on this issue. No, no, but, uh, so this party has its own baggage and they will carry forward. It's, it's no, okay. no, 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 nothing no, no, new what they have done. It's a fact of blame game. Congress has only played on that. Put somebody in the front, blame them and try to take the credit. No, same thing happened possible. if you look at Manmohan Singh. I never come to the front. No, no, if you look at Manmohan Singh, Pinky Anand, ineffective speaker. No, that's why, that's why Pranav Dhaf left the active no, politics. No, 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 watch, 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 what did, how did the rise of Manmohan Singh happen? Ineffective leader. Doesn't make anyone insecure. Will agree with anything Tenjan Pat says. He was made leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha. Go back into history, I think 1998 to 2004. And if you say Ami Agnik that he's going to do other bigger things, parliament is on for 150 days. Effective days 80 or 90. If you commit to spending 335 days and take even a one month overseas vacation, then you still have 230 days to do the rest of your work after being an active parliamentarian in one year. So if you have the I initiative, you can do a lot. It's not about if I take on the parliament no, responsibility, I can't do things for my party. Yeah, come on. No, no, and if but someone even if said he does that, that, if he does not take that responsibility, and if he takes the responsibility of building the party, okay. what is wrong in that? But, the okay. day you are projecting that uh, Mr. Rahul Gandhi is going to take so much days as overseas vacation, I think you are. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying time. even if you do, and I'm just putting a hypothesis. No, no, I'm not saying he's Raul, taking an overseas Raul vacation. Raul I'm saying Raul overseas, Raul domestic, Raul Indian, foreign, if you take one month vacation. does not have anybody, so you have brought the family in the picture. Anyway. So you have questions and questions for every selection that is made within the party. And so let us not go on that. And oh. we are not here on oratory skills within the parliament. Because we know what happens in the parliament. There are okay. questions what and answers. There? The lots of uh, debates going Excellent. on. But that does not uh, alone decide the fact that, that a person Fine. is a leader, no. the person has the ability, no. or the person has no. the ability. No. Uh, no. The no. lot of no. questions were raised by Rahul Ji during the election campaign. Not a single you have answer to turn given parliament by into a statement. Ladies and gentlemen, so Malik Arjun Karge. So what? Not sir. a Malik Arjun Karge. Has been yes, Malik Arjun Karke has been chosen. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the distinguished veteran of the Congress Party, Malik Arjun Karge, has been chosen over everyone else as the leader of the opposition in the Lok Sabha. Of course, it's a Congress decision. You have a right to question it. Thank you very much for joining us on the news tonight.